Is somebody getting the message? Verse 3 now says, after verse 1 has taught you the way to pray, verse 2 is now telling you the reason why you should pray. Verse 3 now says, this is how you are going to accomplish what you are asking for. It says, let the people praise thee, O God. Let all the people praise thee. Are you seeing that? What does this mean? Verse 4 now says, oh, let the nations be glad and sing for joy. For thou shalt judge the people righteously and govern the nations upon the earth. This is teaching you a message. The psalmist will not be telling the people to sing for joy if there was really a reason to be joyful. I hope you know. Are you getting the message? Joy is not happiness. Happiness is external situation bound. So if I give you money, you become happy. If I give you car, you become happy. Joy is a choice. Is someone listening to what I'm saying? So Apostle Paul will say, Apostle, Apostle James will say, count it all joy. The word count it all joy means you have to label it as joy. It's a choice you must make. You, it doesn't have to end. Joy can be, oh my. But are you getting the message? So he's saying that after you have prayed and say, Lord, bless me. He says how you will receive these things is by being joyful. So the Bible says be anxious for nothing. He says rejoice. I say again, rejoice. Is somebody getting the message? This is, and even in emotional intelligence, they teach a lot of this stuff. There's something they call the principle of gratitude. They tell you just sit down and be meditating, and all those things. Yes, they picked it from the Bible. This is the real one. That the more you remain joyful, you don't know what it means to stay joyful. The way the earth works and the human body is that you should rejoice when something has happened. Do you understand? But then now, it, are you getting my message? Now imagine you are rejoicing before the thing happens. Your body is already fashioned to think it has happened. So your body will work to make sure the thing happens. Are you getting what I'm saying? Emotion, you know I thought to this thing. I don't want to go too deep into this stuff. Emotion is both spiritual and psychological. It's both spiritual and physical. So that is why when somebody is fearful, when the person is depressed, everything you'll be attracting around your life is things that will cause you pain. Because those things are like magnets. Job said, that which I fear the most is what came upon me. So, and I told you the word come there means to arrive. The thing did not show up as Zalejo. It came because he was expecting it. He said, it, it has come upon me. It's just like somebody coming to visit you from the US. When the person lands in your house, the person did not show up. He came because you were expecting him. Somebody did not expect, just showed up. Ah, guy, how far? Why did you show up? You are coming inside. But they were expecting. So emotion is like an expectation factor. It helps you expect things. So imagine somebody is joyful when something has not happened. You are joyful for what should happen. Your body, everything around you, situations you think it has happened. So every that is what the Bible means that all things will now start working for your good. Are you getting the message? There is an emotion tied to this thing. I just begin to rejoice. And you see why God told you that in all circumstance, in all, because God is saying the thing you are praying for is tied to your rejoicing. When you don't rejoice, pray from now till next year. You won't get it. I bet you. But the moment you begin to be joyful, just watch the, God be angels to just, You see when people are rolling up and down to come and give you the thing because you have sustained the posture. That is why the devil will always want to keep you in a state of bitterness. When you begin to complain, you begin to lament. Are you getting the message? So it means both the devil and God himself, they need that emotional dimension. Not feeling, not feeling, not feeling. Emotion and feeling are not the same thing. Feeling is happiness. It is realm of the earth bound. Emotion is things like joy, love, even when it is not there. So God needs that joy. Satan needs that grief. So the devil will be bringing you to be grieved. The more you are grieved, he's winning. He doesn't need the other thing I say. Hey, you are here. Come on. Devil is just a worship. You they work for him. You know, get. You are working for him. The moment a man decides, hey, yeah. did you see what happened to the to the to the son of the of the man that was called the prodigal son? Even though his father was blessed, rich, rich, the guy was suffering. Not because the father was not ready to bless him. Are you seeing it? But because he chose to remain in that state. And one day, the Bible says he came to himself. Do you know what that means? You, you suddenly realized, and all of a sudden, there was this joy that was welled up from your inside. That as God not said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. It's two days for the, for the application to close. There's no money to pay the school fees. As God not said, 
I will never leave nor forsake you. I hope you know this was what made Jesus. I can't even do my teaching again today. We'll do that next week. Is that fine? But I hope I'm blessing somebody. I hope you know this was what made Jesus angry when he woke up. When he was sleeping. Are you seeing that? Understand these talks, guys. Please believe me. There was there was toppling upon the sea. My Jesus, my own Jesus, he was sleeping. Fast asleep. How we what, what have the entry and you did not know? <laughs> the best time to sleep is in trouble. You, why you are, you are sleeping, your sleep is not sweet. When sleep becomes sweet is when there is trouble. You don't understand. Because at that point, you know that based on my physical strength, I can't do anything. So why am I struggling? Why am I stressing myself? I beg, may I go sleep? And watch what God can do through a man's sleep. You are sleeping in... Ah, ah. Understand, many things you don't know is a message in this realm is a message. Sleep is message. When you sleep before trouble, that devil expects you to be fidgeting. You are passing a message to him. God is my own concern.